The Sustainability Alliance just released their annual scorecard recognizing local businesses and groups for the contributions to creating a more sustainable future. We're happy to welcome Corey Wren Williams from the Alliance as well as Stephanie Reagan with Aon to chat about this. Welcome in, ladies. Thank you. Thank you so How much you doing? for having us. Well, Corey, I'll start with you. Tell me a little bit about the scorecard and what it recognizes and also, you know, what is the Alliance? Yeah, the Sustainability Alliance is a regional nonprofit and we really look at the triple bottom line of people, profit, and planet. So people could be for businesses could be that employee engagement, quality of life, profit of course is that bottom line savings, and plan it as that way to kind of manage your natural resources while also saving on the bottom line. So the scorecard program helps our businesses navigate that with their teams and produce reports and, and really uh, affect their sustainability initiatives. So what are some of the things it recognizes, I guess? Yeah, so the, the scorecard itself is a very robust program. It includes an online tool that has over 54 directives, 90 KPIs, key performance indicators around the areas of water quality, energy management, transportation, solid waste, uh, health and wellness, community resilience, and then how to communicate that internally and externally. So very well rounded. Robust. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, Stephanie, what did you guys implement at Aon, and, and what does this recognition mean to you guys? So I think it's really a celebration of our sustainability journey. It really helps us benchmark where we are as far as energy consumption, material management, and our community impact in addition to that environmental impact. So what are some, you know, what does that mean for you guys? I mean, to get recognized like that? Um, I think we've really appreciated it to celebrate that internally and then to share it out externally. I think people care about that, our stakeholders, um, incoming talent. And so we've also appreciated that it creates a peer network in the community with other businesses so that we can learn and strive for our next steps. Do you think it kind of holds you to a standard or, or, or pushes you, I guess? Yes. It helps us kind of set our goals moving forward, uh, you know, put our eyes on the prize of what's next. Yep. Well, Corey, what are some things that other groups can do to increase your sustainability? Well, there's so many things that uh, you can do. This last cycle, we were able to see that um, some of our members were able to um, utilize renewable energy this year. One hundred and eight. Uh, 88 million kilowatts were used this year from our members. Uh, we also saw that some of our members planted 7 million, uh, 7, uh, million square feet of pollinator habitat this year and maintained over 1.8 million from previous years. So lots of different things, even diverted about 50 pounds of uh, tons of solid waste this cycle. So, so many different things that you can do to really save on the bottom line, reduce those natural resource uses that are really unnecessary and and also improve quality of life uh, at your business. Love it. Well, Corey and Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate both of you guys. Thank you.